the joys, bike and hike. <laughs> I am back in my little spot, but this time Sang came along. That's her bike she built. It's a bamboo alloy, carbon, and titanium uh, fat bike wheels. Um, so what, she, what I'm doing is actually just testing how the bike handles, to find um, what's suitable for sign. Uh, originally we wanted a bike packing setup, but unfortunately because the seat's so low, uh, we can't even get a seat post bag, so we have to find alternatives. And she's over there looking for a new spot. What do you say? Jungle. Jungle. The plan is test the tent. It is uh, MSR, um, sorry it is not actually, it is my alt alternative to the MSR Hubba Hubba. Um, so we've been looking for a replacement of our tent which is, I reckon it's probably got another year left in it, the, the MSR Hubba Hubba Muller. Um. Now guys, I'll be honest, the pegs are shit. The, the first thing we noticed was the pegs are shit. pegs just broke it and these were shit pegs <laughs> but it's better to replace the tent before we're touring nothing worse than uh, replacing it while we're touring um, that would cost us customs and waiting around in hotels for something to be delivered so um, it is an alternative to the um, MSR hubba um, and when I compared the two they're very similar um, some of the features this one had actually was better so the main thing is um, I need to test it in a few scenarios before we finalize using it um, one is the heat and it's pretty hot so I want to check the airflow and the other thing I want to check is how it handles the rain and obviously the space and stuff so Okay, it looks like they've got pockets on the top and they've got pockets, how many pockets on the side you got? There, see the pocket? They've got a pocket there and they've got pockets on the top. Is there any more pockets down that side? Okay, so. Okay, um, so this is um, the summer sleeping bags uh, from Near Zero as well. So uh, we got uh, two of them um, and they say you can zip them together to make one big sleeping bag, a couple sleeping bag. Um, our plan is to use these sleeping bags in, during the summer, and then in the winter, we're going to, basically in the winter, we're going to um, add their, another sleeping bag and then add that to it to, to boost it. Um, ori my original plan was using the Big Agnes uh, Zero Fahrenheit all year round, but the truth is it's a great sleeping bag. Um, it's just too warm. Um, so we decided to go for a 20 Fahrenheit uh, sleeping bag and with these two, these only weigh one pound each um, so a kilo, that's all it is uh, in total uh, so in theory in the summer times so we'll be using this and then in the winter time we will use another uh, sleeping bag um, I still got to order one around about the 20 Fahrenheit I think that's enough room for the both of us? Yeah. Yeah? And then Logan can throw him to the corner. How's the mattress feel? Does it feel comfortable? Yeah, the mattress is okay. It's really in place. It's small. It's skinny. It's narrow, isn't it? Even for you and you're Asian. And short. And short. And it's, it's still narrow, yeah. This is, this is the only one they make, I think. I think that's the only one they make. 
All right, so what we'll do is um, we'll keep one for Logan and then we'll get uh, another Big Agnes for ourselves. Uh, for uh, uh, Let's get the same Big Agnes I had it before because it works. Yeah, they do look narrow, very narrow. So it's good, the little drone tells you when you've got to change the propellers and it tells you what propeller you need to change as well. The light flashes on that bit, propeller. Hard to see, but uh, the bikes are put together and uh, we got the solar panel set up in the morning so when the sun rises about 5 we'll start generating electric and we've got uh, two uh, USB-C's uh, cables two meters long running into the tent and then we got the tent set up for scar stargazing right but <laughs> I forgot about we're underneath the tree but it's about testing the airflow of this tent that's what we're here for to see how good the airflow is so um, and then the hammock you can't see it guys I should have put a light in there so Sang is cooking away. This is why you bring your girlfriend with you when you go bikepacking. Because I don't eat this well. I think Sang's making an actual video of this uh, menu. Um, so if you want to check that out, check it out, post it afterwards. And then she's making another fire over here. What's the reason making another fire? Nice. Just nice, okay. Alright, good enough for good enough. Good enough. It's cold. And the fishermen are just starting to get ready. They've got the generator going, they've got all their lights going out there. I'm actually surprised with this cannon. It's picking it up guys. It's picking it up. Wow. Pretty press. So hey guys, check it out. That is what you call real food. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Had a little bit of a problem with the fire. Um, we didn't bring enough coal, so this setup that we're working on. The main thing is uh, we came out to test the tent and it's the first time I've sat in a tent in Vietnam in seven years where I haven't sweated and it's just nice and cool. The breeze helps but this, this mess is really nice, really nice. So we got some Korean or Japanese? What is it? Soju. Oh, okay. Soju. All right, so too, whatever. I think it's a wine or something like that there. So we got that. And we got the movies uh, for tonight. Uh, plan is we're going to eat this now and then probably wake up about one and make something else. Because this is our fir first thing we've eaten all day. So. Cheers, thank you. you drink? I don't know. I don't know. It could be lethal. What does it taste like? Nice. Let me see. I love it. I went there in the restaurant. And I think I got the bottom when I got salary. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't taste of alcohol. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does taste of alcohol. It does slowly. Slowly, slowly. It's okay, you can drink. Nice. You can drink lots of that then. All right. So, plan, eat, and. Uh, and Sit back, chill, watch a movie. Um, everything's charging, got all the electronics uh, charging. Uh, everything's being from the battery banks and the solar early in the morning. So, cheers, guys. It's a big one for you. Mm. You say I'm fat? You <laughs> say you big? Mm. I think these sleeping bags are going to turn out really good. 
Let me really think here. This is actually very comfortable with our, um, our pads. It's actually really nice to sit on. And it's just definitely too now. Morning, guys. So how was the tent? <laughs> the near zero. Well, actually, it was probably the first time in Vietnam where I didn't become a sweat ball. We left it in this configuration. The whole night didn't rain. Got to test it in the rain, obviously. Hello. Hello. <laughs> mm. Happy New Year. <laughs> So, fishermen going to work early in the morning. They were working all night. They were out there all night. So this is a 60 watt uh, solar panel. Um, <clears throat> I brought that uh, just to test. When it's doing its job, as soon as light hit this morning, it started to generate electricity. So while we slept, uh, so that was good. So what did you think of the the tent last night? Like a big bike. <laughs> I have a small space. It's not like just like too tight. The other tent, I feel like it is like very tight. I can, cannot turn myself, but this tent is good, I like it. Yeah. And we run over all night, it doesn't fail out, so... Yeah, yeah, I... It doesn't fail up. Yeah, I thought it should have had like a little clip there, but it didn't, you know, so... Last night I had a perfect slip. Yeah, the tent, the airflow was good. Yeah. The airflow was really good in it. We weren't sweaty because, and what I like is we can actually see the the bikes because you don't have the, the netting running up the, or the material running up the side like most tents. So this is definitely... And I like the blanket, the sleeping bag. Yeah. It can connect together and become a blanket. Yeah. It's so what he it called... Wide, yeah. I think good for the summer, that blanket, for sure. Yeah. Um, maybe what... That new one, you got the winter one, okay. uh, the, the 20 Fahrenheit one. Well, what do you call? I will get uh, another one for myself. Replace my big Agnes. I'm happy with the the sleeping bags. Plus the weight of them, they're only one pound each. Those uh, sleeping bags, so less than a kilo for summer sleep system. The thing is, the pillow um, gear doctor. It wasn't bad. The pillow wasn't bad. Uh, what did you think of the pillow? Side. Yeah, it's it's like a generic one. We've got a couple. It looks the same as well. But the valve system's actually good. I like the valve system on it. Um, but in, I woke up about I don't know, just maybe three in the morning. I woke up um, a little bit cold, and it wasn't cold from the sleeping bag. I was cold from underneath. So the R factor is definitely not 5.2. There is no way. I have sleeping bags, or air mattresses, um, even the climate one and uh, uh, Alpen kit. They're like, they're saying they're only two. And in Vietnam, I never get cold from the ground, never. There's no way, there's no way they're five, there's no way they're five point. Yeah, they're just too narrow as well, too narrow. I mean, the camera makes it look a bit, but it's not. They're very, very narrow, you know? Well, let's, let's get um, packed up, head up and get some coffee. I haven't coffee Oh, you haven't? Co oh, shit, yeah, okay. All right, have some coffee and we'll get packed up and hit the road. So what we're gonna do is, uh, just gonna get this tidied up. Uh, we're gonna start to hit the road. Um, as I say, this whole thing out testing gear, basically testing this tent, airflow was brilliant in it. Um, really nice, really nice tent.
well done near zero and you're half the price of MSR Hubba Hubba way half the price so pretty happy at so we're going to hook a couple of the batteries up to the pedal cell and the spin up and we'll hit the road and get a coffee somewhere cheers guys